You're watching Global National. If you're craving a little screen time with your favorite celebrity tonight, you can get some. And you'll be supporting a good cause, too. Some of the biggest names in entertainment will be taking calls, tweeting, Skyping, and Facebooking. Global Television, along with others across the U.S. and Canada, are proud to be part of what's called Stand Up to Cancer. It's one hour of fundraising that will provide years of funding for cancer research. And as Jennifer Tryon reports, every loony raised in Canada stays in Canada. It's all going to start with the lights in New York, Philadelphia, Los Angeles, and this year all the way to Toronto, Ontario. International landmarks will be lit up together. Then, television networks across North America will simultaneously broadcast the biggest cancer fundraiser science has ever seen. Now is the time. When Canada comes together, cancer doesn't stand a chance. From 8 to 9 p.m. tonight, Hollywood's biggest stars will share their stories of grief and survival. My father died of cancer at 42. Cancer even picked a fight with this guy. Cancer didn't bring me to my knees. It brought me to my feet. The celebrities will be taking donations on the phone and reaching out to Canadians who donate via social media. We're going to celebrate survivorship and help, and we're going to raise a lot of money. Stand Up to Cancer has been an American fundraiser, but for the first time, Canadian donations will now go directly to Canadian researchers, like John Dick, the Toronto scientist paving the way for world stem cell cancer treatments. Our funding is really so seriously, um, hasn't kept up with the uh, capabilities that are happening in research. Two out of five Canadians are expected to develop cancer in their lifetime. One out of four will die from it. The doctor came in and said, you've got pancreatic cancer. I was, I was in disbelief. I mean, 31 years old? It's impossible, you know? Two years later, because of donations and research, she survived what was once a death sentence. Please stand up for Elizabeth O'Connor. And live to receive a standing ovation from everyone who, for one hour tonight, is standing up to cancer. Jennifer Tryon, Global News, Toronto.